Storm Track weather alert day is in effect tonight as I'm tracking two rounds of storms this evening. As you'll see, the first batch is moving in from the south, impacting areas along I-44. Right now, let's just bring in some heavy rain and lightning, but some of these isolated storms that have started to develop across parts of Oklahoma and Kansas could move into the area, bringing the threat of some strong winds and some heavy rain tonight as our cold front slowly starts to work its way in. We have tornado watches off to our south and west, so we're going to be watching for that severe threat through about midnight before storms work their way to the east. Here's what that future track looks like in the next couple of hours. By 9 o'clock, storms will be moving into the Highway 63 corridor, bringing the possibility of one inch hail and strong winds along with heavy rain, but they quickly work their way onto the east. I'm not expecting any rain left over for the morning. In fact, it's going to be pretty mild. Temperatures drop down into the mid 50s to start off the day tomorrow, getting up to about 60 before we start to cool things down. So we'll have one more mild day, but winds will pick up to almost 30 miles per hour at times. Getting into Wednesday, we'll be on the back side of this cold front, much cooler with morning temperatures near freezing. As we get into the afternoon, we are topping out in the upper 30s to around 40. So it'll be chilly on Wednesday and Thursday. Cloud cover looks to stick around too. Here's a severe weather threat breakdown for tonight. I'm expecting anywhere from around 50 to 60 mile per hour winds and a few of those isolated storms, possibly seeing some elevated one inch hail. Tornado threat's going to be low, but highest off to our south. And we'll be looking at the possibility up to around a half an inch to an inch of rain. Once that clears, temperatures remain in the mid to upper 50s tomorrow, so it's going to be mild and windy, but getting cooler towards the middle of the week as we're tracking highs in the upper 30s Wednesday and Thursday. Ending the week, though, on a nicer note, we'll get up to about 47 on Friday with sunshine and a chance for a few showers by Saturday.